Hi, my name is Atif and welcome to Android App Development Series. In this video is about how to generate random color. I will do it by clicking the button. When our button is clicked, it will generate random color. You may do it according to your need. For example, to show background or a specific UI view of each list item with different random color. Let's start implementing. Open Android Studio. Click New Project. Select Empty Views Activity. Click Next. Type any name of the project you want. And make sure to choose Language Kotlin. Select Minimum SDK version and click Finish. Ok, our project is now created. First of all, we will design a simple UI. Let's replace constraint layout with relative layout. And set padding as 20 dp. Now remove the constraints related to constraints layout because we have used relative layout. We need that text view to show title of the app. Now change the text as random color generator. Do the text view in center horizontal and give a little margin from top, for example 10 dp. Now choose style headline medium. Show the randomly generated color. We need to create a UI view that is view. Give it height and width to 50 dp and assign a unique ID to that view so that we can access that view inside related activity class. Let's say it generated color view. Now make that UI view in center of the screen and give a temporary color. I am assigning gray color. You may do it any. Now we need to create a button. To generate random color, set width match parent and height wrap content and assign a unique ID so that we can access that button inside our related activity class. Let's say generate color button. Now set the text generate random color. Now we need to place that button in bottom of the screen and you may also give minimum height 60 dp. Our UI is now completed. Now it's time to start coding. Open main activity class. First of all we will declare our UI views on class level so that we can access them in whole class. Private Latin var generated color view that is of type view. Now we need to initialize that UI view in on create function generated color view equal to find view by id r dot id dot generated color view. Now let's declare our button private latin it var generate color button that is of type material button. Now initialize it in on create function. Generate color button equal to find view by id r dot id dot generate color button. There is a typo in generate color button. Let's fix it in XML file. We have not typed n. Now it seems fine. So far we have done declaring and initializing UI views. Now we are now we need to set click listener on generate color button. To generate phantom color, we will create a new function private fun generate random color. We have set our UI views and function private since we don't need to access them outside of that class. Let's create a value of color of type integer that will hold randomly generated color. color.rgb This function will require three parameters red, green 
and below. We will use class name random to generate random integer value for each color random dot next in and pass value to 56. Since each color is ranged from 0 to 255, so that's why we have passed 256. Now similarly, do it for other two parameters. Make sure to import correct library class for random class. Our third parameter is remaining, that is color blue. We have to do the same way we have done for red and green. Random 256. Oh, it's not to be random 256. It should be random dot next int 256. Make sure you type correctly. Now, course sniffer to generate random color is completed. Now, we need to set that color as background color to generated color view. Now, we need to call generate random color function in on click listener of generate color button. Our code is completed. Now it's time to test it. Run the project on an emulator or on a real device. To test the project, we need to click the button to see if it is generating random color on clicking the button. Okay, whenever the button is play and click, it is generating the random color. That means our code is working fine. You are welcome to give suggestions or discuss issues in comments.